Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more C1 Engineering videos. Today, our lecture is about uh, the difference between the pile, pier, column, and the pillar. These are the four technical terms are uh, used in the C1 Engineering, and these all four members are the vertical members, and they all are compressor members. They, they take load by compressor. It means uh, that, like for example, this is any member, uh, when the load is applied in the vertical position, so they always resist the load in the compressor way. So this uh, this type of uh, structure members we call is the compressor members are the vertical members. So these all members are the uh, compressor and vertical members, but there are quite difference uh, between each of these uh, technical term. So first of all, to define the uh, pile, the pile uh, is the lowest uh, part of the any bridge or flyover. Uh, which is used to take the load and the whole load of the flywheel and bridge is transferred to the pile. Like for example, this is the, uh, consider this is in a bridge construction. So these are the piles which are constructed uh, below, the, below the ground. And after that, we use the pile cape. So these are known as the pile. These are the vertical members and the load is transferred from the above and it transfer to the pile cape and from the pile cape the piles are responsible to take the load compressor load so uh, these are known as the pile which are the lowest part of any uh, structure and the structure is mainly bridge or flyover so uh, the appear which is the second term uh, is the similar uh, term but it is a little bit different from that of the pile uh, before the pile when we cast the pile after the pile we use the pile cape here pile cape and after the pile cape uh, we we start the uh, pier from the pile cape so this a uh, vertical member is now called as the pier it is similar uh, like it is a compressor member but it takes the more load in comparison to the pile because uh, the pile dis uh, because the load is distributed to the uh, different number of piles uh, but the uh, pier is always in one number so it takes the more load as compared to the piles and the load is also transferred uh, from the above structure into the pier. And above the pier, uh, we have the uh, transom, and, uh, and above the transom, we have the girders, like in this way, and then there is a, a road surface for the uh, vehicles to move on. So uh, the pier is also the compressor member, like the piles, but pier take more load, and pile take less load in comparison to the pier, but they both are vertical and compressor member used in the bridge and flyover. Now let's come to the column. Uh, the column can be defined as it is the RCC member, RCC member, uh, structure member used mostly uh, to resist the vertical load, RCC structure member. And they are used mostly in the frame structures. Like for example, if I made in a multi-story building, so these are the columns constructed, these vertical members, right? So they are responsible to take the load and transfer it to the foundation, which is uh, maybe any type of the foundation. So uh, these all vertical members are the columns. These members, these members, uh, these all are vertical members and these are columns, right? So the columns are mostly used in the, uh, the multi-story building. Uh, um, uh, it may be used uh, in the, uh, the low-story building as well, or maybe in the residential building. We mostly use the uh, columns and we design the column as per different codes. But uh, then what is the uh, pillar used uh, in the civil engineering terms? Uh, the pillar is a little bit different from the other types of the vertical members. And the uh, pillar is mostly used for aesthetic purposes. Aesthetic purposes for beautification purposes. Uh, the pillar is used and in mosque uh, we usually see the pillar and domes we usually see the pillar uh, they only use for the aesthetic purposes uh, to beautify the any structure uh, uh, to look beautiful uh, the view of any structure we use the vertical member and this vertical member is known as the pillar 